Well, hello, friends, and welcome to the Superintendent's Corner. My name is Thomas F. Auburn, and I am the Superintendent of Schools here at Westport. I want to welcome you once again to our show. As I always say, and I don't mean to be redundant, but boy, do we have a lot of things going on here uh, at Westport Community Schools. And one of the things that I will always recommend to our people who are out there watching is that you know, our website is a great repository of information uh, about what's going on at all of our schools, whether it's the Mac uh, primary school or whether it's the high school. So please go visit our website and you can get to see all kinds of things going on. But I'm going to give you a little uh, sort of uh, uh, Cliff Notes version of what's happening here at Westport. Uh, before we get to that, I just want to first of all say thank you to all of the people who came out uh, to our two tours. Um, this past Saturday, um, on um, um, from eight to eight thirty to eleven, we had uh, tours, our second tour, our open house of the new school, and uh, we had over a uh, uh, hundred and fifty visitors, and uh, that was really impressive. On the back of the two hundred and twenty-five visitors we had uh, approximately two weeks ago, so so realistically, we had close to four hundred Westporters come in and see our school. And that's exactly what we want. Uh, I certainly want to thank our uh, student tour guides. They were exceptional. I uh, certainly want to thank the class advisor, Mrs. Gargiulo. Great job by her. Certainly Principal Charette. Um, you know, I always, again, I always, I'm a, I try to be careful with thanking people because invariably I'm always going to forget somebody and I'm certainly not trying to do that. Uh, I want to thank our IT department. They were here in force. Uh, working with a lot of our visitors with some of the technology that we're going to be offering our students next year. And uh, I want to give a, a special shout out to uh, Irene and Norm Buck. Uh, I want to thank the Buck family for uh, all the support that they give to our, uh, our schools and the fact that they were big proponents of the, the two open houses, which in my opinion were wildly successful. We have uh, done some uh, surveying of our visitors and so far, uh, all of the uh, responses have been very positive. So once again, I want to thank the community of Westport. You know, you've invested in this new school and we want you to see not only our school, but more importantly, our students and staff who really make the place go. So once again, thank you so much for coming by last Saturday and two weeks ago. Um, and we're going to be doing more public, um, public stuff uh, in the future. We're hoping by the end of February uh, that we can get a date for... Um, District Attorney uh, Thomas Quinn to come. Uh, we would like him to be speaking to both our junior and senior class, uh, you know, about the law. Our, our kids are getting older and for our seniors are going to be graduating. And, you know, there are a lot of misconceptions about the law and I, I, we think it's really good to have District Attorney Quinn here. So uh, we're going to be having him sometime at the end of the month. Stay tuned. We will uh, give you a date as soon as uh, we have that uh, solidified. Additionally, uh, we have lots going on this weekend here. Uh, our middle school drama club will be uh, performing in Once on this Island, Junior. The shows will be taking place on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So please check our website and, uh, you know, certainly uh, we could use your uh, support. The kids work very hard for these plays and uh, nothing excites them more than having a, an auditorium full of guests to uh coming and supporting them and seeing them perform. We have a, a, a great dr drama program here at Westport. So we want to show it off and we want you to come by and uh, come see our kids. So please, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, once uh, on this island, Junior. So uh, last year's play uh, was fantastic and I am absolutely sure that this play is going to be equally good, if not even better. So uh, additionally, speaking of better, our sports programs have been wildly successful this uh, winter. Our uh, men's team has been uh, playing very competitive ball and have uh, done unbelievable things. And as a matter of fact, this uh, Friday is going to be senior night. And uh, we hope that you'll come out and uh, give our seniors a, a, a nice shout out because, uh, again, a lot of these uh, students have been playing basketball here for over four years. And, uh, you know, this is sort of our night to celebrate, in particular, our seniors, many of whom uh, have spent a lot of time here uh, representing Westport. So uh, if you can come to the uh, game, the game starts at 6.30, and again, it's the boys' or men's senior night, and we hope to see you here. Uh, the women's will be coming up in the uh, not-too-distant future, and we'll have more information on that. Uh, last week, we had a job fair here at Westport. As many of you are uh, starting to realize, um, 
the, the need for our students to be able to get uh, you know, from school into the wor work pipeline is extremely important. Uh, the cost of college has become prohibitive for some of our students and you know, Westport is committed to providing a personalized education for all of our kids. So p I want to certainly thank um, you know, Mrs. Ruel along with Mrs. Charette from Mass Hire. Uh, we had over 40 companies here and uh, we were very uh, thrilled to see the, the students engaging with these companies and uh, we're going to be offering tours as a result of this last job fair uh, of the uh, organizations, uh, many of whom came to speak with our students. So uh, we'll be setting up tours of the uh, Union um, Hall over at uh, the Carpenters Union and so we have more of this coming and it's all part of a, uh, a plan for the 24th school year to really personalize our students' education. You know, obviously our, our students are academically are continuing to show uh, Im impressive uh, gains, if you will. Uh, we have uh, a number of our students who have been interviewed by very prestigious colleges. Uh, as soon as the acceptance list comes, we will be sharing that with the community. But I think equally important is the fact that we've come to recognize that for some of our students, they need a pathway outside of just traditional college, and we are setting that up here in Westport. So uh, we'll have more information about our career pathway coming forward, and that should be over the next month or two, we'll have some solidified um, information for our stakeholders. And we're, like I said, we're excited about sharing that with you because, again, uh, as many of you know, uh, the labor market is, 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 is once again showing incredible strength, and the opportunities for our students uh, to find gainful employment right out of high school has been growing exponentially. We as an educational organization must meet that demand and I can assure you as your superintendent that not only will our students be able to access some of this but we are hoping going forward that we'll be able to have some adult education as well because we have a number of adults in this community who quite frankly are looking at the opportunities and saying, you know, with just maybe a little bit of, of, of different cr credentialing, I can start a new career. And we want to be the uh, conduit for that to take place. So we're really excited about, uh, you know, some of the uh, educational opportunities, not only for our, our students now, but hopefully for uh, the community of Westport uh, moving forward. Um, additionally, one of the things I, I absolutely want to talk about is it is budget time. And budget time is always a, a challenge here in Westport. Um, I can tell you that um, as we develop the budget, um, one of the things that we always try to do is we try to mitigate uh, any type of influence that the budget would have vis-a-vis -vis on direct services to students. So anytime that we, and we've had a couple of challenging budgets, I think the community is aware of that. And we've, we've tried to commit ourselves to making sure that we, we minimize the negative impact uh, where it's most important, which in our opinion is uh, in between the student and the teachers. So we've tried to keep our, our classroom numbers low. And in doing so, we've had to make some substantial cuts in myriad areas, which quite frankly have been very painful. Uh, we are hoping that uh, this budget season, uh, we will be able to retain as many people as possible because uh, the needs of our students have, have become greater over, over the past few years. I mean, everybody knows, that, you know, for example, that the pandemic has really escalated the speed at which some of these trends have already been taking place. Trends like the mental health issues that are uh, plaguing our country. These, these issues are not going away and the schools are looked at as the place to Help, help our students you know, navigate uh, these very uh, challenging waters. And, and it's not just that. We know that the country has been suffering from an opioid crisis, and, and again, our region is no exception to that. It has had an impact in the number of students who have been affected by this crisis. Uh, we have seen, for example, uh, the number of foster students uh, in West, Westport go up significantly over the past five years. This is, uh, you know, certainly caused by a number of different things, but the opioid uh, crisis has definitely played a role in that. So we're, we're taking a look at that. Additionally, you know, we continue to look at uh, the mental health issues, not in a negative way, but in a positive way. And, and once again, our uh, Stardom Young program will be uh, offering, um, you know, enrichment uh, opportunities for our students, both at the elementary and the middle school. And we've literally served hundreds of students and, 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 and 
you know, dozens of families, and, and it has had a great impact. And with your support and your help, we will continue to do that. Now, we did receive some good news today. Uh, uh, the Greater Fall River Development Corporation um, has announced that um, we are going to be receiving a $25,000 grant to supplement the $410,000 grant that we received from our legislative delegation in an effort to provide our students with what we're referring to as neo-technical education. And so uh, what this money will allow us to do is offer more training modules for our students. For example, that money that is uh, being uh, provided by the Greater Fall River Development Corporation will be for the express purpose of buying software in the area of uh, construction trades. We know that there is a tremendous shortage of plumbers, of HVAC personnel, of carpenters, of electricians. You know, I, I like to remind people the average age of, a, of an electrician in Massachusetts is 57 years old. We need to provide our community with more people who are, have those skills so that we can meet these demands that are currently not being met. So that, that $25,000 grant that we're going to receive from the Greater Fall River Development Corporation, we're going to have three years of software in those trade areas which will make our kids more marketable. I, I say kids, they're young adults, but you know, when you get to be my age, they're all kids at this point. So I do apologize for using the term kids, but it'll allow our young adults to be able to move directly into apprenticeships that will provide for them careers that might not otherwise be open to them. Uh, and, and so, you know, I, I'm asking the community as we develop this, there is going to be a kickoff, uh, but we're trying to put all of this together. So uh, as I always say to you, stay tuned. Uh, finally, I, I once again want to thank you for the, you know, for tuning in and, and, and listening to what's going on. I really wish I could encapsulate in a 20 minute module all of the great things that are happening uh, in our schools, whether it is the Macumba Primary School, uh, you know, the West Elementary School, you know, there are tremendous things going on each day at these schools. And, and you know, if, if you want to get a flavor of, of how, how ambitious our days are here, I would recommend that you go to our website and see the events for each of the schools. It is amazing what, what our teachers and our staff are offering our students in an effort to provide them with the most enriching educational experience uh, that they ha not only should be getting, but, but deserve both morally and um, ethically. I mean, the reality is we have only one shot to get this right, and we need to make sure we do it. And I'm very proud of the fact that regardless of what you may have heard, you know, in the past about, you know, the schools, which I don't believe, it, you know, having now been here for over three years, it's clear to me that the work that's being done at our schools is second to none, and I would put up the work that's going on in our classrooms uh, and our learning areas throughout the district uh, up against anybody. I mean, if you go on our website, uh, you'll see uh, the, the middle school is working with drones inside of uh, uh, the classrooms. You'll see our students working with robotics. Um, this is only going to increase. I can assure you that Westport Community Schools are providing a tremendous education uh, to our children, and we will continue to do so. Uh, and that's why we need your support, especially when it comes to the funding. We are desperate. One of the things we learned from the two tours that we did and in speaking with the people that came to visit is that Westport is in desperate need of a robust night school program, both for industry credentialing, but also for enrichment as well. So, you know, with your support, we will continue to move forward and we will continue to do the things that we need to do to make this community or help make this, the community such a great place to live. And on that note, I always like to end by uh, expressing my gratitude uh, to all of you. You know, the past few weeks um, have been challenging here in this country. I have, uh, I put out a narrative uh, a couple of weeks ago in terms of trying to address some of the things that are going on. And in the end, the schools can only do so much. But the schools working in unison with the families and the community and the businesses, well, when we come together and create that type of synergy, uh, we can create an environment second to none. And this is why I'm going to continue to thank you for working with us. I'm going to continue to thank you for continuing to support us. And I'm going to ask you to continue to stay tuned to what's going on because in the end, we have some, some great initiatives going on. And I am convinced that over the next couple of years, 
uh, the renaissance we're going to have at Westport Community Schools is going to be second to none, and you're going to be extremely proud to have your children uh, as graduates of our district. I want to thank you for uh, joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you at the next Superintendent's Corner. Have a great day.